Hi guys, welcome back to Kit Car Direct and MK Sports Cars. Well, we've had a well, cars and coffee evening. It's Tuesday, it's been amazing. Sun has been shining all day. It's like late 20s in temperature. So we had a really good turnout today. Lots of cars here, all varieties. We've had all grass cars, we've had Daxes, we've had MKs, we've had Westfields. We've had loads of different cars coming and going throughout the evening here. We've had food on tap. And I've got to show you around really a couple of cars that are still here. It's getting near the end of the day here, but Elliot's going to show you what's been coming and going throughout the day here. You have to turn up for the next one though. Got another evening session coming up. If you wanted to have a quick blast out of a burger, etc. Got another evening session coming up. But here we go, we've got a MK NDR, 2 litre Z-Tec on throttle body. It's nice simply exhaust been fitted onto it now. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is a local car actually in Essex, as a lot of the cars are here, of course. We've had some come from further afield. Uh, very local. Got uh, Dave here, he's been here, uh, built not bought. He's Mazda RX5 Turbo. Lovely colour. It's like the Incredible Hulk, that car, isn't it? Look, it's more green than green. Got a couple of cars on display. We've got the Phoenix out because we're trying to promote this now, getting moving forward. Um, we've got a uh, car back that went up to uh, Aberdeen and it's come back now because it's been sold and it's come back to Essex again to a, a local customer as well. Uh, shout out to you, uh, John. So this is going to go through a transformation. It's got the K20 in it. Um, it's got screen. It's all in road trim now. Guess what it's going to? Yeah, you guessed it, race trim. So it's going to go on a diet, but get a cage, all the other little bits and bobs as well, make it more of a, a track focused car, etc. So tune in for that one. Keep subscribing. You'll see us do some changes to this. Killer car though, nice color combo. And guess what? It's sister car over here, same color. Old faithful Ben's car, hashtag Ben's car, CBR1000RR. Uh, this was a prototype car that we worked on when doing all the Essex body work actually. If you subscribe, you would have seen that being done. This thing here is, well, oh, crazy actually, a lovely Caterham. This is probably one of the best finished cars I've seen in a long, long time. Customer who owns this, Phil, the engine bay on this is to die for. Phil, can we see the bonnet? Oh, we've got to see under the, this is, in fact, this should be in the Eiffel, in, in the Tower of London, there's so much jewellery under here, it's crazy. Only cost him about a fiver to do, apparently. Not expensive, but look at that, guys. That is engine, I'm going to say porn, <laughs> if there's such a word. That is absolutely beautiful. Phil's done an absolutely amazing job. I mean, got a touring car head on a 2.7 litre Millington engine. Touring car head on a 2.7 Millington engine. How much horsepower, Phil? 350, 360. 350, 360. That's out of this world. And I've got to say, attention to detail in this car, second to none. Unbelievable. Credit. <laughs> Credit. More Caterhams. These are customers that we know actually who pop down here for the evening. And over here, we've got uh, a couple of other uh, MKs that have come out as well. Um, what's in there? That's a Duratec car, but it's an ST170 based engine, I do believe, in there. Um, nice little car. Got a 50 mil cage on it. Nice little cage done on that, different design. Um, extra wide arches, carbon seats, nice details on it actually. Uh, it's a classic. Do you remember guys, how'd you tell a classic? Atwell suspension, yeah, on the front there. And then we've got over here, got a couple of other different cars here. Um, this looks like it's got some kind of turbocharger on it, I reckon. Yes, it has. So turbocharged, down in here, Z-Tech. I think I'm familiar with this car. It may be coming into us actually to do some bits and bobs. Uh, another localish customer as well. Um, I think if, if I remember right, this was freshly IVA'd not long ago, but yeah, a lot going on under there. Charge cooler and all of that, if you're familiar with it all. Um, but yeah, turbo's tucked down in there, really neat and tidy actually down there. All, uh, all nicely done. And into another polished cake room. I mean, really nice actually. I do like the Vuvas in it, these they? are quite smart, aren't they? You know, so nice cars, but we've had lots of different cars here today. We've had, I say, all grasses, daxes, a few of them have gone there for the day, and then it'll show you the reels on that. But open evening so far, it's been off the chart. Right, guys, I want to say a big thanks to everybody that turned up here on Tuesday. There was lots of new customers, lots of people interested in kits as well. Lots of customers wanting little test drives out, and lots of customers coming in their own cars. So thanks for supporting us here down and coming down, sharing it out, and you know. It's great to see people talking and like-minded people. So that's what's been going on outside. Let's see what's been going on inside. Right guys, into the workshop time now. Well, we had a little fun with cars and coffee. Um, so we're gonna come into the workshop to see what's been going on here. Well, 
You've probably seen this one here, uh, hashtag Ollie's car come in, stock engine, it's an RX5. Basically, it was a stock engine that he built at home in his garage. Done a fantastic job, really nice clean car and was on the Malvern stand. If you visited the show, you probably have seen, it's a nice clean, tidy build. And was coming in at the show, we showed him what we was doing, bolting a manifold and a turbo. Well, we've progressed since then. Um, manifolds on, turbos on, bracketry's on for all the uh, actuator and everything else. Exhaust link pipes fully done in there as well. Uh, oil returns plumbed in, that goes from the bottom of the turbo, right under here, it's hard for the cameraman to see that, but oil drain goes down into the bottom of the sump as well. Uh, inner cooler pipe work we've sort of mocked up here as well for those. Um, injectors, again, you won't see, but down in here, the 4V4, four four, we put uh, EV14s in there, injectors as well. And then Joe's just on with the next job, which will be ECU card, um, a few other bits that we've got to do. Uh, in the cooler's gone in, uh, and we've made this little sheet, shield here uh, for where the air filter is going to come up from here, come through, and the air filter will sit here, just try and stop some of the warm air and get some of the colder air from the front of the nose cone. So, that turbo boost of this RX5 is going on quite nicely. This, if you're wondering what engine it is, it's an MX5 1.8 Mark II NB BP, whichever way you want to call it. They boost normally quite nicely. Oh, one little job there, air temperature sensor. We get regularly asked where do we put them. We put them into the plenum there. Um, it seems to be a nice uh, position for them as well. That works. Um, and then it's like, get rid of this link pipe here. Normally there's a link pipe between the plenum here. You take that out because it's you're boosting it. Um, and we put a nice breather on. You can go to a catch tank as well if you want to take both of these breathers to a catch tank. It's something that, especially if you're going to do quite a lot of track work, it might be recommended. If you're going to do road work and that necessary, probably not worth it. But And what we've got going over here, we'll show you a turbo engine as well. So here we are, same engine that's in this particular car, but out on a stand here. Uh, Joji's been going through this one. It's got a forward spot end, I think we said the other week to you guys. Forge the bottom end on it as well. Um, and again, this is where we can show you here where the link pipe comes off the turbo for the drain back. And then we'll have an oil feed at the top of the turbo here, which we link to the top of the head up. Actuator is going in and that will go onto the wastegate here. This is the link down pipe as well. Uh, but we've gone through the engine, it's nice and clean, nice and tidy, all down. I can swivel it around for you guys. We've put in uh, upgraded shims for the oil pump, done the, the blank, we've got the uh, coolant return lines will go in for the turbo as well. Uh, boost valve here. Plenum's all been nicely detailed and painted. We've done it in like a wrinkle effect finish on there as well. Then the fuel rail go in. What we've done also, Joseph's done a thing, I suppose you said it a second ago really, on the uh, breather here. We've gone actually gone to an AN fitting, uh, AN10 fittings on this, drilled and tapped them. And we run that back here where the bulkhead is to uh, a nice oil catch tank. Because this is, well, newly, probably 280 plus horsepower, it sort of should be around that sort of number. It's a hybrid turbo, somewhere around 275, 280 on this billet plenum. That looks pretty cool in there. Can't really get close up with it, but yeah, should make reasonable horsepower, um, nice torque numbers, and in, certainly in a car that weighs about, probably by the time we're done, 570 kilos, um, should go rather, rather well. Right, more Mazda time. More Mazda turbo time. It's like Mazda turbo day today. Um, what we got going on here, which is the MR that we've done with a low mount on it. The turbo is mounted down lower, different. Uh, it's a bigger turbo, so you can't get it in on this particular chassis. Quite a bit's been done though. All the loom is now in. It's a diff nice new loom in here that's all been run round, all saddle bushed under here, all the way through to the rear and front of the car and all mounted under here. We've got a new, we won't get it off, but we've got an ECU tray we've made for in there, all the wiring, all the relays, everything is all tucked neatly under here. With a fuse board, all facing forward, wiring loom, all run the way through the chassis out to the rear etc as well um battery mounts in this will be like the catch tank that we're saying we're bringing for the oil which will come off of the breathers one here and one here which is where we're going to mount it header tanks been made and ready to to fit here then all the boost pipes been made and done the coolant lines have been done for the turbo the coolant lines for the radiators are all done and in and the reroute kit to the back of the head this is a modification that's done on quite a lot of turbo stuff actually um, if Elliot pings down here, come from the back of the head instead of the top of the front of the engine here. We bring it to the back, it helps with coolant and going back out. And normally it's only has like a 19 mil outlet for the heater. We get rid of that, but on this one, because it hasn't got the coil pack, we can actually run the one from the front to the rear and then bring that back with a 32 mil pipe all the way up to the intercooler. On the intercooler side at the front here, 
and that's all mounted up mocked up and then we made a scoop here that will hopefully then drive some of the cooler air up again stopping the warmer air getting to the air filter here and bring some colder air intake into that as well so that's been mocked and that'll be just a fine few fine fettling bits to do on that just a um, probably a black powder coat as well and that'll neaten that all up bodyworks are completely all dry fitted on this car all done bonnet nose cone all been mocked all clearances done as well because we had to shim this engine left and right to make sure it all cleared under the centre tunnels done the seats have all been mocked up and fitted now these are all fitted in uh, on this particular one it has been mocked up on the other side but the seats all done and then they're completely in the back of the car I think we said to you before but the back end's pretty much buttoned up apart from the wiring now this is the loom which will run out to all the lights and these are all nicely labelled up here for where we want to send them to or if you're trying to trace it later on if you've got any faults so what have we got here need your glasses on so it's just a, the side light there for example that'll run out through there and into the to the side light but it's all nicely labelled here um, so fault find it at a later date if you ever get any problems so much easier um, so yeah m and coming along quite nicely now lots of little bits done lots of the tricky fabrication stuff all the centre tunnel we've taken it out now because we put the loom in but all the we have to do a lot of dry mock-up on this particular car yeah, something tunnels up there full up with tape still at the moment um, but that will go back in once that's done for the final fit and finish so lots of dry mock-up take off fit in finish and uh, yeah moving forward quite nicely I love a Mazda Turbo Right here we are with uh, Cup Car 200, Cup 200 series time, car number 65 has been driven by Matthew Booth at Alton Park, fresh back from there, as you can see a couple of ouch moments, <laughs> a few war wounds where we've uh, had a little bit of close contact shall we say, fair racing to be honest on that one, we did have some rear damage on the rear wing as well but because these nose cones are quite long and etc, it hasn't really caused any damage in this area too much. The radiator bracket's got a tiny little bend in it there, but that's so minimal, it's not even worth looking at, to be honest with you. It's not cracked or fractured, but the, you know it helps with that bit of width in the nose cone there to take the rear imp uh, front impact, etc. on it as well. But Matthew done really well, uh, got two P3s uh, in it as well, so in, in the race. Dave Watson, brilliant job, drove superb all weekend, P1 twice, Rich Reb again, drove great. Matthew didn't really get into it with, with the guys at the front. They were just gone for some reason. They were on it all weekend. So P2 for Rich, P3 for Matthew. So the guys did a killer job. Eight cars out, started out, and then we had a very, very warm race. Um, it, was, it was great to see quite a few of these going around, actually, very close competition. But for some reason, they've had it massively dialed in this weekend. So yeah, this is gonna go in for now. We're just gonna jack it up. Obviously after the race, we've had a little knock here and a knock there. First thing we can do is check everything, guys. You know, if you have an incident or have a knock, start checking things as anything bent, anything straightened or whatever. Um, so we're in this corner and that corner is the main focus at the moment, because uh, that's where we got two knocks, unfortunately. Did finish the race, it's all right, but at the end of the day, it had a little impact and it did knock all the tracking out and the rear toe. So something could have gone wrong. So we'll check into the car and this will be heading out into Cadwell Park with a new driver. Uh, hashtag Ben, little shout out to him. He's going to be in the car in Cadwell Park. Um, so we look forward to him and his experience and we'll probably give you an update on how he gets on. Right guys, here we are. Let's go. Before I talk into chassis and chassis and what's going on with this one, I'm going to go to chassis register next. That's where we're going to be. And it's up on this side this week, guys. So that's the top 10 where you're at in the moment. If you want to get yourself in the queue or know more information, obviously pop down and visit us here or hook us up, phone call, email, etc. And Neil will be happy to help you. Right, let's get into this though. Uh, K20 time. We love the Mazda Turbo. We love anything that's turbo. Turbo. Big old snail. Look at it. Beautiful. So on here, K20 Turbo, as you seen before we've got a log manifold here that we've purchased actually not one we make it has been purchased um, that we, we're mocking up with and we've gone with a 3071 uh, 0.82 back hours in here um, power wise should make decent numbers let's at least start with a four wheel reckon with this but it, it's a hybrid in here nice decent size uh, housing etc an impeller and uh, we probably aim for one but hopefully this should spool up quite early and give us lights a low down grunt and everything else spool up quite quick so we're looking forward to seeing this come together so it's all mock-up time with this one but you know the chassis the modifications and everything else and we'll dry fit everything we've got a new intercooler being made it's probably coming to sit here top mounted intercooler 
and the radiator and everything else and making a different sort of bracketry for that because of the power that this is going to be running so it's a lot of custom fabrication so it's a slow burner and it will take a bit of time but it's a lot of development but we're not just going to bolt on standard stuff because of the power that this is making we need to have something that's a bit more upgraded um, to make sure that it all can handle it all um, great engine though the, we know that these do um, if you look at this k20 we're going to zoom over here i'm going to walk past you um, this particular one that's a firm favorite car that we built here is back with us because it got sold uh, it came down from scotland and now uh born have come in and put um their mk mk born cover on it now it's this light blue uh, they are real high-end specialist guys for doing uh k20 stuff they work in time attack and everything else terry and his team do an awesome job and this one's going to have the born magic sprinkled on it so i'm looking forward to seeing this probably somewhere around 275 280 horsepower on the VTEC, I can't wait. So what modifications going through on this is gonna be with John, as he always does, is cage, gonna make it a bit more of a race car. And with that and everything else that's gonna be done, I mean, that's great with 230, but with it, NA 280 nearly horsepower. Right, that's it for another busy workshop here at MK Sports Cars and Kit Car Direct. I'm gonna say a big shout out and thanks to everybody who's turned up to the open evening. Great to see all your home builds and factory builds and everything else that turns up here and even some, some seriously nice sports cars and a really killer autographs car. So thanks to you guys that turned up. Melbourne Kicks Car Show, great show, actually new venue. Super excited about that uh, in being in the calendar now. Uh, that was a good success actually. I think in general it's pretty, pretty darn good. It's certainly better than Stoney, they moved it on a little bit. Could do with more cars. So guys, if you've got a car, come along, get in your car and come to that event and show it often, be proud of what you own. It'd be great to see more of those turn up in the day. And your opportunity is not far away because Newark is just around the corner on On The Radio. So it'd be great to see plenty of more of these cars out on the event on on the show and then one more other thing uh, kit fest as well that's another one if you want to show your car off guys kit fest is coming up trevor northwest owners club kit fest coming up at santa pod you want to run a car down a quarter mile strip that's the place to go so hook it up phone call email i'm sure you trevor and the guys will sort you out at kit fest and that'll be another great it's an event that's growing all the time so that's it for this week guys don't forget if you like what you see and you like these cars press that like and share and subscribe button and we shall catch you next week